<laughs> There's no better way to go. Split, take us away. Good evening, campers. Welcome back to Blighted by Topia. Today, guys, we are at the top of a mountain. God knows what's going down below. Last time, if you remember correctly, the last thing we heard were gunshots over the radio. We don't know the fate of our companions. Our handler was uh, not keen to give us many details, so it's up to us to see if we can complete the water trials. God knows what's going to happen next. You never know with Chan as our DM. This episode is sponsored by Chan, the Dungeon Master. Chan is a venerable Dungeon Master. Um, she oh, has uh, many uh, rich, flavorful descriptions in her oh, arsenal oh. at the ready at any time, improvised. Oh my she God. is a big fan of, uh, of Starlight um, and likes it very much. Um, she like buys assets <laughs> that are amazing. Everyone loves Starlight. She buys incredible assets, puts exceptional time and effort into her work, and constructs tight narratives with lots of oh, wow player freedom that, um, that, 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 that keep things close and personal and the stakes high so that you develop real attachments to these characters without losing a grand scope and phenomenal stakes. It's really amazing, guys. I mean, you can see the work that's on here right now. Um, just look at the map before you and the, and you'll notice that our tokens are uh, in sleeping bags. And that's just awesome. I know that I know that you like that, guys. Um, so let's just write uh, my LinkedIn description. Yeah, thank description. you so much to Chan <laughs> for um, sponsoring this episode of Blighting by Topia. Yay. You're welcome. It was eight dollars well spent. Hey, Chan. <laughs> True. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's go on with the show, much corner. Uh, all right. Yeah, as the um, venerable DM and sponsor of this episode, Chan, would you roll me a D three thirty four? Oh my God. Okay. If I get called venerable one more time, I'm going to throw up. Three. <laughs> it was a 334. Oh. Oh. Did I roll the wrong thing? Was it a three? Yeah, it was a three. 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 Three, yes. three D four. Oh, well, you can have. You know what? That works. There's 48 <laughs> shirts coming your way. And There's you know 308. What? They have a <laughs> 308 on pre-order uh and the, what they have on them is a little sleeping bag that you can like flip yes. the sequence over and it becomes closed and open oh, and it's so bad oh. <laughs> uh spooky corner okay. um so, seeing as we're all in little sleeping bags what's spookier than nightmares now I don't know what the strangest nightmare you've ever had is. <laughs> um, I I did have one when I was quite young, where I was being chased by a whole wheel of cheese. Um, so I think really my worst nightmare would be that one like British event where people roll a wheel of cheese down a hill mm. and have to chase it. Well, that would be quite good role reversal, I think. Um, People have broken bones doing that. I think mm -hmm. I'd be okay. I, I don't I think I'd break anything. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Oh, what's what's the craziest nightmare you've ever had? Well, speaking of cheese, um, <laughs> also sponsored is Hot Pockets. It's in the shape of a sleeping bag. And nope, I didn't answer the question. <laughs> no. And, and uh, if those of you who don't know what Hot Pockets are, they're like these little little things that you just put in the microwave and just heat up. Also, for those of you who like, um, you know, uh, are trying to watch your figure, Lean Pockets, same thing. Oh, same thing. Oh. Also in the shape of uh, sleeping bags. You could peel a little bit of it back. Almost like a sleeping bag, and but you still have like the meat or whatever it is inside, like the person. It's 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 good. It's very good, Ooh. and that is the scariest dream I ever had. What that hot pocket? <laughs> Didn't answer the question. It's fine. Okay. Well. Right. Incredible. All right. <laughs> Let's get this shit show on the road. Um. What about 
happened last time? What happened in the last session? Bullet point recount from my head right now. We... Some shit went down. We went through a temple? We went through the temple. Mm. Fucking... Spent ages down there. Found some cool stuff, including a meteorite hammer, which is sick. Um, got to the end, heard some gunshots, saw some glimpses of what the infected look like, which is always fun times, TM. Uh, and then bounced, and then basically continued up the mountain along the kind of singular track that led to this previous place of worship, which has since been, I guess, you know, someone's uh, demolished it or something, or who knows, maybe it's decayed with age. Today, we are picking up, well, I suppose I should say tonight, we are picking up during watch, um, if you'll want to take it. Uh, Castle yeah. Lakers watch. Delightful. Delightful. Casimir. Mm -hmm. I would love to know, do you have your torch out? What kind of watch are you doing? Are you... Like patrolling, or are you just kind of sitting, chilling, hanging? Uh, I'd probably get like up here, so I got a little bit of height advantage. Oh fuck yeah! And I don't think I would have like my torch out, whatever. Just like low embers of the fire are still going to keep us warm. Sick. Or Huge. light enough, and I'll just keep like staring at the. Not that I can see it, but <laughs> towards the entrance way. Very nice. It's kind of. Uh, getting darker and darker with each passing minute until you really can't see past the, I guess, frosty outlines that the alcove has here and your kind of tin can question mark rope that you set up, which was very efficiently done. And I suppose you can spend the next hour <laughs> admiring your work. Um, but I would love a, I'd love a perception check from you. Yes, man. Actually. You're looking around. You are visibly seeing things. You hear something moving in the rock beneath you. And you look down and you see Mishka has caught a tiny moth in its little tooths. Oh. <clears throat> it is Just offering it down. to you. Uh. Hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> the moth is frantically trying to fly off. <laughs> take it. Say thank you. Wait till Mishka looks away and then let it fly. The Mishka turns and like gives you the biggest stink eye. Like, I just fucking caught that. <laughs> I'm really interested to get a gauge on how Kaz is feeling. Um, obviously, he was pretty yeah. upset from the last few days. What's he kind of um, thinking about? What's what's going through his brain right now? He's he's working through the stages. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Hang on. He probably he's probably doing them out of order. He's currently at the the anger part, uh, which is why he kind of went off on Arlo and Wyatt. Um. But other than that, he's just kind of sitting there, seething. So far, three people have died on his watch, and he's not cool with that. Well, mm. two maybe, probably. And at least one more. Yeah. You sit there and seethe. And at some point, you kind of look at the sky and realize the moon has come out fully. And your watch has ended, TM. Winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, just kind of walk over. Poke Arlo. Um, trying to think. Yeah, I get. I, like, I don't want to be difficult, right? Like, I never want to be difficult. <laughs> so I'm like, no, okay. I'm like, but I'm like. Is Arlo about this light? Like, he probably would just be sleeping. 
No, I think about it. Like he, like he's been, you know, he's like, oh, things always work out. It's fine. So he's probably still asleep. Oh Lord! Uh, <laughs> it help. Lord is probably still awake. <laughs> Just staring uh, at the sky. <laughs> I don't know if Cass notices you that. Does him. Cass notice it? Yes. You can hit. Oh, oh geez. Um, uh, he'll just kind of look over. And be like, uh, I think I'm gonna head to sleep. If you'd like to take over. All right, that seems about fair. Uh, I was hoping to catch a word with you before you. Uh, Left though, is that okay? Do you want to get straight to sleep? Uh, yeah, I think that's all right. What's up? Uh, I mean, it's not really something that's up with me, it's more that something that's up with you. Uh, Lauren just kind of gets out of bed and rubs their face and kind of brushes their hair out of their eyes and um, uh, I don't want to presume anything and I don't want to you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to but you I mean it's you seem affected by the particularly by the loss of our companion and I don't blame you for that obviously I am as well I just want to you know check in and make sure you're okay because I don't think this works if we don't Keep, uh, keep tabs on each other, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I had two opportunities to hate. try to make him alright. And... First time I tried to scare off one of those little dinosaur things. and The other time I healed George, so... I don't know. Plus, I ain't never seen a dead body before. Mm, All right. right. I'm going to uh, okay. just turns uh, covers up. <clears throat> Lauren just kind of stands there for a moment. they caught between whether to try and say one last thing or whether to just let him go but I think Lauren is too stubborn in some ways to not like verbalize what they want to say <laughs> so they're like <laughs> uh, hey uh, there, there are several of us who had the opportunity so don't take all that burden on your shoulders and we'll uh we'll talk about the other thing another time and so uh, <clears throat> okay i'm gonna <laughs> you just like <laughs> as you walk away just kind of like turns around leans against the wall puts his hat down over his eyes gives you a thumbs up he doesn't know if you're looking anymore covers up goes to sleep mm. I feel like I feel that thumbs up intrinsically in my bones. Um, and I guess I'll climb up and sit on this statue, maybe like on the knee, so I can have a good old look around. Um, just trying nice. to think. I don't think I have anything that would make this watch easier, unfortunately, but that's fine. The um, embers of the fire are starting to die out. You can kind of see the edge of the circle here and a little bit of frost, which is covering this old 
very ornately tiled floor. Um, could mm. you make me a perception check? And unfortunately, I will ask for it at disadvantage, even though I love you very much. <laughs> no, that's okay. With a big love heart at the end. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. Ooh. Ooh, that first one was so good too. Espanol. I know. <laughs> In the distance, you swear you can hear kind of like... It sounds like a few people like talking. But it's really oh. quiet because it's quite far away. And you're not really sure in which direction it's coming from. Okay. Other than that, I would love to touch base with Lauren as well. It's You get kind of two hours in the middle of the night where you're just sitting by, by yourself in a watch, looking around in the darkness. <laughs> In the wilderness. <laughs> what are the vibes that are happening in Lowen's head? Um. I don't think there's a particular feeling other than tired. It's just like an amalgamation of everything that is just tired. Um. They're upset, I guess, about the fact that um, I'm sure, like, there's more than Casimir who haven't seen dead people in this group in the whole of the Valid, um, and though Lowen probably has seen dead people and they are probably quite not I wouldn't say practical but very like oh you know it's uh, a vessel for someone's sort of spirit and soul it's organic at the end of the day um, and not something to fear not something to particularly venerate you could probably like show it some care after some respect but like you have to think about the person not the form that they take um they probably also recognize that like a lot of people can't haven't got a grasp on maybe that yet um, and they don't even fully know whether that's a healthy way to think about it at all either um, and so I think they're like a protective person as well so they're thinking oh man all these people who are seeing awful things and I can't stop them from seeing these awful things and they kind of have to, and they have to let them see them and experience them, and I don't like that. Um, and just physically exhausted, like, they're used to physical activity of their daily life, like, they spent all day near enough walking and then on top of their work, they would, I guess, um, do a lot of physical labour in taking care of Mark and uh, Zal, especially. Um, but this is different, and it's different when you're trying to survive. It's like... Mm. It's not... It's not trying to survive in a very like simplistic way it's trying to survive in the very base way I guess that people aren't necessarily used to anymore yeah um, I 
Um, I think in those two hours, they're not just going to be, like, despite the fact they're tired, they're going to take a look around at the tiles and things, and... Is that... In what direction did I hear the voices? Was it towards the... where we came from? Um, with a nine, you could tell that it's, like, vaguely forward, so you don't think it's up the mountain, but you think it's coming from somewhere down the mountain. Hmm. Um, you do hear the sound of crackling from your communicator, which is probably quite near your, um, are you sure me your sleeping bag? Mm-hmm. Hello? Roger, roger. I'll go pick up the communicator, um, and sort of step away from everyone so I'm not going to be talking right next to sleeping people. <laughs> um... Hey, who who is that? Oh, it's just Bassies here. Who am I right. speaking with? Lauren Quayley. All right, very good. Um, I just wanted to check in real quick. Uh, so we got Arlo Wyatt. Casimir and myself here. We became separated from a uh, fuck. What was the dragon name? It was something crazy. That's why we were like... <laughs> Yalfin. <laughs> Yalfin, yeah. Um, <clears throat> became separated from Yalfin and Emma. Yeah, I don't know what their status is. Have you got any updates for us on that? Yep, I can see on my end they're both. Got a high amount of adrenaline in their system, but they're both all right. All uh, right. Uh, okay, that's good to know. Do you have a location on them at all? I don't have a location on them, but uh, I do. I am able to tell that you are pretty safe where you are up on that mountain there, so I can't see any infected coming this way. Hmm. Is that what they were facing? I think so. It was really hard to see. I think the swamp okay. was running like interference or something on what we were doing. Okay. Were you aware of infected being on these islands? Indeed. Okay. Not so many, though. I don't know if that brings you any comfort, but... Just a few. I don't think anything you could say to me could bring me any comfort, to be honest. And I mean that in the kindest way possible. No offense taken. Mm. Well, let me know if you need anything else. All I'm doing an overnight tonight. Are you able to tell if there's anyone else in this area that we should, uh... Maybe group up with. Give me one Safety second. Numbers. Let me talk to another handler here. Mm. And they uh quiet for a little while. You alright? Alright. I think there's a few headed some type of way you might be able to intercept them okay. I think they're uh, from what the handler's telling me I think they're camping for the night okay uh, makes sense thank you very much 
You're very welcome. I'll come back to you in the morning. Maybe pass you off to that handler. I know they've just started their shift here, so. Alright, that's uh, much appreciated. Have a good night. And take care of yourself, alright? Mm-hmm. Over do. and out. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren <laughs> just kind of rolls their eyes and puts the communicator away. Um. I think, like, vaguely creeps in the direction of the voices, but then, like, I don't know. Think, thinks better about making their presence known. Hmm. If it kind of helps, um, you know when you're like, I don't know, if you camp frequently, but when you camp and it's nighttime, um, and it's like the entire campsite is quiet and you can hear like in the fucking distance, the conversations of people, you feel like oh, they're yeah. particularly far away. Like they're not in walking distance. Um, or like they are in walking distance, but not, you know, to just poke over. Um, they're quite far away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I think, considering Kaz had no luck with Arlo, I'll go over to Wyatt when my uh, watch is done. Unless you have anything else for me, I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> yeah, I'll go over to Wyatt and I just very gently try to wake him up. What, man? We're taking watches, it's your turn. Lewin? Mm hmm. I dreamed of a murder of ravens. Nine of them. <laughs> Can I tell Two if he's fell. being serious? <laughs> One flew away. Uh huh. Four pecked at the bones of the two that fell. And then. Two of them went to a tree. <laughs> I'm making insight checks on this man. Are you telling a lie? <laughs> uh oh shit, sorry, I didn't see that. Um get, let me let me pause for five seconds, um, just in case I need to roll something. Rolf unhinged. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like he's telling the truth. He seems quite, you know, like, um... <laughs> he seems, uh... <laughs> he seems, uh, he seems very just woke up, like, uh, disheveled, not, not fully conscious, you know, genuinely quite sleepy and unaware. So, murder of crows, nine of them, one flew away, and I'm just trying to clarify if I got this right, because I'm writing it down. One flew away, then two? Uh, two of them died and fell. Two died and fell. Uh, four of them uh, ate the bones of the dead ones. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. And two nested in a tree. Okay, so murder of crows, nine of them. Murder of crows. Murder. Two died and fell, four of them ate the bones of the dead ones, and two nested in a tree. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Lowen just kind of stares at Wyatt openly. <laughs> He sort of starts um, getting up, he starts clambering up, you know, slowly. Was it, like, a scary dream, or how do you feel? He rubs his eyes. I feel tired. Okay, me too, but... Are you gonna be alright? Yeah, I will. Uh, where you, where you, where you man taking watch on the statue? Mm -hmm. I sat at, on the, the statue's knee. Oh, how quick. Um, oh. 
All right. All Did right. you see anything? Is there anything? Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Thanks, Nick. Nick. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> I got cookie. Please go on. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Thanks, Nick. <laughs> I offer the communicator to Wyatt. I just had a bit of a check-in. Um, the the two we left there, uh, yeah, they're alive, I think. I come. Um. I heard some voices, but I think they were far away. So, I think it's just the, one of those. It was the handlers. They've got bases across the island. Um, Two of them yeah. die. What? <laughs> I think. What murder? <laughs> um, do, do you need anything before I go to bed? Or? Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, so. I'm gonna rub my hammer for a bit. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. what? <laughs> turns a little bit pink in the cheeks. Uh, sorry. <laughs> It's just like being back home, man. Home pleasures. Pause. <laughs> uh, sorry, go to sleep. Who's next? Who do I wake uh, up next? Uh, 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 I'll, uh, have fun polishing your hair. Oh, you fucking again. left me with double shift. Fuck's sake. The, look, you can always wake me up again. Yeah, I will do. Okay. Go, go get some sleep, man. Mm. Oh. I climb into bed and turn <laughs> him over. Yeah, <laughs> he sits on the edge of the um of the of the pillar at the base of the statue. You slide into bed. <laughs> it looks so good because <laughs> of the assets. I, I can't. Oh god. I'm going into wire. It's so there, snug in there. It. I fucking draw my sword, so my pistol. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's on site. Um, hi Wyatt, how are you? Hey, hey Jan. Um, how's it going? Sorry. Hey Jan, man. What's good? Did you imagine what, what Warlock? You... Today? Warlock is a DM. Pardon? Mm. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. Out of character, you just have like a What's... meta Deadpool knowledge of life. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds... I need to write this down. <laughs> later, 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 later. Um, how are you? Why, why? I think there's something about Wyatt that has uh, returned to Monk. I think that um, living such a pedestrian existence has... Um, so no, with, without much meaning beyond um, beyond the bottom of a bottle... And um, <laughs> uh, 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 risque beyond, beyond the beyond the bottom of the bo beyond the bottom of the bottle and uh, and the stroking of his hammer. There's yeah. not a lot going for Wyatt in his life, so um, I think he I think there is a kind of primal return to monk, a sort of uh, adrenaline powered mm. stoicism, determination, sort of detachment. Um, about what has transpired, especially after a couple hours resting on it, he's um, he uh, his jaw is set, his teeth are grit. He is um, waving around the heavy hammer in two hands. Um, that looks quite uh, severely across the dark landscape. It's really interesting of, uh, because, likes... like, most people that have become valid have like come into it rueful or like upset or angry but it almost feels like Wyatt's kind of hit his stride Wyatt's like glowed up from the valid situation there is a kind of liberation to it I think it's um, yeah there's a kind of a, a freeing uh, for a guy who who um, doesn't suit 
you know, a kind of a kind of desk jockey job. Um, yeah. Who um, doesn't have who didn't have many real attachments um, in the city beyond you know acquaintances and and uh, regular regular stop offs. He was um, he was he was buried in routine and and monotony really, and not a lot of fulfillment. But I think. Um, a combination of uh, of being exposed to a to a great many people um, coming into it, sort of hoping to exploit the opportunity of a few weeks of um, what he saw as as uh, getting drunk and uh, celebrating the last few weeks of being alive. Um, that attitude inadvertently made him embrace the process and sort mm-hmm. of uh, open up a little bit and. And uh, almost, almost enjoy the, uh, the 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 training up until now, and now at this point, um, he is yeah very, very just uh, mission focused, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You noticed which I didn't see coming from this character. Thank you so much, but I had no idea how this is going. It's very, very cool. Very cool. Hmm. Um, you notice, you notice two things. One, with a perception check, I would like to tell you. Two, Ratso is not here. No! I, I, oh, sorry, I forgot. I cast Conjure Ratso back. <laughs> no, I fucking, well, after like, after like 15 minutes, um, he realizes, he goes looking and he's like, Lowen man, you let the rat out. Wait, and he's like panicking. He starts like kicking. Lowen. Oi. There's a rat. There's a rat in your sleeping bag. Oh, really? Wait. Yeah. Lauren just kind of sits up. Why am I in? Okay. (laughs) He just kind of looks in the sleeping bag. Is there a rat? There is no rat in there. There is no rat present. So there ain't a rat in here. But, oh, fuck. But hang on, this is your this is your bed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kind of gets back into this. It's meaningless without the giant rat kicks the stone. Um, with a fifteen, you notice um, tiny paw prints in the snow, leading out, ducking underneath the trap that Casimir has set. Yeah, foot watch. Period. I've always said that. He's like, he's like, it's like bending down, you know, like uh, trying to get eyes close to the ground. Um, leaves his hammer at the, the at the base of the statue, and it's like, "Oi, man! Oi! Oi!" Um, Could you make me a survival check to track your rat? <laughs> Oh, hey, yo, I feel like I'm, tail, I'm man. proficient in this. Yo, <laughs> yeah, you're fucking, you're going. They're leading <laughs> south in that trail. How how visible is um Casimir's trap? Um, I think you'd know about it. Um, how visible do you think it would be, Kaz? I think it was intended to be not noticeable. It's like uh, it's like shin height brown rope on white snow with cans. Mm. But like, yeah, I didn't. I put it shin height. Like that's the that's the not visible. That's part. the kicker. Yeah, yeah. I think if he knows about it, it's a memory okay, cast yeah, announced that he good. did it. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's good to like last minute sort of hop over it and um, yeet and uh, continue continue tracking. You see, so single-mindedly, the tracks lead up uh, onto a ledge. Oh my god, he's nimble. He smells so. He smells danger. Oh my god. <laughs> These tracks. Um, I would like to try and climb this ledge. If my rat can do it, I figure I stand a decent chance. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> you can. You can just do it. As far as I'm concerned, you are very strong. Oh, why? Thank the you. The stakes are Thank so you. low. 
Oh, well, don't say that. My rat's <laughs> life is on the line. You see the tracks? Oh, these Swerve. tracks? Oh, very cool. Yeah, little tracks. Although they're big, oh, like nice. giant rat footprints. And at some point, as you kind of come around this ledge, you see Ratso is sniffing. Sniffing, sniffing, sniffing at something in the snow. Something large. It's been lodged in there. Oh, dear. What you got, man? Rat noise. <laughs> the last bit, but the start was strong. Um, Shit, you come up around it. You see that uh, the rat is kind of sniffing at this large, kind of cargo-sized question mark box, almost like the size of a refrigerator. Is it wooden? It is wooden. It's also That's open. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Then I will peek inside. It Can is we make empty. Like a deck save or something? No, no. <laughs> You're good. I peek inside. It is empty. Mm. Um, you see, there are a few little bits of uh, something dark. It's really hard to see without like a light. Um. Can I try and pick up Ratso? Yeah, you pick up Ratso. You notice that his tummy is swollen. Oh dear. Uh, I give him a little kiss first of all, and then I think I sentence him to his death. I think I'll put him in the bottom of the cargo box. And then try and listen to see if he's like moving down. Let me draw. Let me, let me draw for a minute. We can do it, we can do it. I imagine it kind of looks something like... Oh no, it's on the GM layer. I had to hide Ratso. Kill it. <laughs> you did, well hid. Imagine it's kind of like... Eh. Kind of wow, like this. this is good. And it's kind of like... Right, yeah. Like this. Oh, Ratso, please have mercy on me. There we go. <laughs> It's kind of like this. <laughs> yeah, that's All right, a future okay. problem. <laughs> okay. I will, um, in that case, oh, thank you. That's a very good drawing, by the way. So, um, no, thank uh, you. I will sort of bend. No, thank you. I will bend in. I will bend down and sort of poke my head inside. Mm. As I prompt rat so in. Empty. And sniff. I will sniff. It's, it smells sweet. Sickly sweet, one might say. Okay. Um, and you say there was like something dark at the in the back, was it, or the bottom? In the back kind of corner. Okay, I will I will crawl further in. You crawl in. You can stand up inside. Oh, okay, cool. Which I will do. You're inside a dark crate on a dark night. It's pretty cool in here. Is there anything in the back corner? Um, would you would you like to uh, use a torch, or are you going to strike a match, or are you going to hold up Ratso and hope that Ratso knows what's going on? <laughs> I think I will hold up Ratso, yeah, as I approach, but I don't think I have uh, any much kit on me besides... Uh, um, you probably have your wedding. wedding. Yeah, if you had a torch or anything, uh, but Bretto looks. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, webbing. Oh, I've got a flashlight. Yeah, I'll turn that on, actually. Ah. Thank you for the prompt. You pop that beat on. Everything is bathed in this kind of soft green light, almost like <laughs> like night vision, <laughs> like Blair Witch Project energy. Um, Excellent. I'm very good. You see in the back corner of the room what you were kind of trying to get a peek at looks like a kind of ripped shirt of sorts. Okay. When you peer around, you can see there are small clumps, and if you, like, lean down to examine them, uh, you can see it kind of looks like the texture of moss 
but beneath it is this like kind of decayed flesh. Okay, I don't want rats who are getting sick. Um, can I? How 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 ripped is the shirt? You know, like is it? What I I want to know, like what size are we looking are at? Like you gonna wear it? Size, yeah, yeah. Probably like I extra large. Um, it's like okay, a cool. champion across the top. It was like a crown on top. It's got like a large rip through the middle, kind of very like werewolf esque. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, cool. Um, and see, I wanna. My intention is to try to see if I can determine what kind of what what might have shredded the shirt so badly. Like, you know, if it's like a like a slash from a claw, or if it was slapped in several places. Yeah, you know? like if it was a knife. I like examining. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Totally. Uh, investigation or nature or anything else you'd like to debate. I will roll a d20 mm -hmm. for investigation. It looks like... It kind of looks animalistic. Mm. Okay. Thank you. I will... Um, is there, like, a door on the crate? Yeah. Door on the front? You walked in it. Yeah, I would like to sort of ease that shut. Mm, it's got a it's I mean, kind of broken really... okay um, um as you kind of ease it shut you turn around and use both hands to kind of jam it in the snow uh and you're pretty happy with it and you realize that it's got a small kind of uh note almost attached to it it's been taped down to the side oh i'll take a look at that i'll flick my torch over it basket in the yeah. and take a read Upon reading, you're, I guess, struck with the realisation that this is something that was posted or delivered. Um, and now that you're kind of looking at it, you're like, oh, that's kind of obvious. Um, you see the box says, Amber Star Farms, 13 Harvest Lane, out of crochet, Monstead, Thion, 56789. And then it says, a little bit beneath it, Sender, Rose, Emmett. Iron Ridge Distribution Center, 456 Flyfair Avenue, Prospera, Dithion. 12234. Okay. I'm going to do something rogue. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to see red blind rage. I'm going to. I'm going to take my pistol <laughs> and scream. <laughs> And shoot into the sky several times. Uh. Ah! Like so. <laughs> yeah, everyone wakes up. <laughs> Just starts running, jumps over the thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think Lauren should start sprinting. I thought I was safe. I thought I was safe. <laughs> The hell? Are you? I've like <laughs> flipped my torch you over. Right? I'm like panicked. I feel like I've like seen a ghost. Like I'm fucking horrified. And all I do is like point my torch down at this um this this this, this letter on the door of the, of the crate that you can see before you. I notice that Arlo is still asleep. Listen, <laughs> nothing will wake my king. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like. Yeah, but... At a certain point, <laughs> yes, he will wake up. But yes. it's still too yeah. early. It's not going to be gunshots and screams, though. All right, we're not waking no, up. Oh yeah. That. <laughs> well, I was trying to, I was, try, I was trying to determine the distance. I was like, I, I think it's a little far, so maybe he might. You know, maybe. Um, sorry, just before Chan, can you send that? Yes, of well? course. Sure literally, everyone would like to keep a note of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> I think Lauren just looks kind of confused. <laughs> Why did you just... Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. What is this? 
Would everybody make me a perception check? Except Olo, who is asleep. Olo. <laughs> Baby. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, and you hear someone coming. Oh. Uh someone's coming. Uh we need to get back to Arlo, make sure that he's okay. There's only one way yeah. in. Why don't we just see who's coming? We uh, set up here, okay. we can probably see him. True. Kaz genius. Yeah, true. Turn off my flashlight, <laughs> follow Kaz. Rasso. What's so? <laughs> <gasps> on me. What the party doesn't appreciate is that is that <laughs> my lead. Um is that Ratso is actually just a vehicle for Loan to use their druid powers through. That is the oh, okay. <laughs> Like when we get when we all get imprisoned and, and Loan like sees through Ratso's eyes. Yeah, literally walking into Ratso. Yeah. The long play, I get it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You'll see from your position perched up there, um, three flashlights moving quickly. You see three figures, medium humanoid, moving towards uh, the position, <laughs> this position, <laughs> the one that was just signalled. Um, they kind of come collectively to a, a slow stop, and you hear... Vaguely in the distance, in the way that, you know, when things are very dark, you can hear further. Mm. Do you think it came from this way? No, I'm, I think it was, like, more north. Fuck. Okay. And it seems like they're gonna turn and move backwards. Are they recognisable voices? With a with a natural twenty perception, yes, they are. Uh, you hear very distinctly uh, one Kira Tempest Prospera and one times Emma Summers. Uh, oh, it's uh, it's it's Kira and uh, Emma. You said it sounded like they were leaving, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh. All right then. Castle just a flash of light in the direction of the uh, voices. This is what Lowen hears. Quack! Shit! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? The sound of snow we can hear breaking. You. Oh, I can't hear him. Never mind. Um. <laughs> uh, are they still like going away? You crouch down now. Oh. Debating between them. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean. Go ahead. We we can see you. We can. It's okay. It's us. Oh shit! Is that Lowen? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Okay. Uh, they come into view. Flashlight related view. That is. And all three of them kind of trudge up through the snow. Oh my god. Hey. Is everything okay? Uh. I mean. You tell me, Emma. Y'all two make it out alright? I, uh, I mean, I made it out. But I think I was trying to. We split. We had to split. They kind of came at us in this really weird way, and we both had to move. But I was trying to reconnect with the Alton, with the radio, but I fucking couldn't get to him. And then we, he eventually like piped up, but it sounded like I think he's in trouble. Well, all right. Well, I guess we'll the uh, once it flat out. The handler, um, the communicator said that. He's alive, just has a bunch of adrenaline, so... Oh, fuck. Mm. 
I think... I think, um... I heard an encampment maybe southeast of here. Okay. Did you hear who's there? Mm -mm. They're not on uh, comms at all. Ooh. Lone kind of frowns. Uh. Hey, Kira, can you follow me for a minute? Mm hmm. Is this what you saw on that, uh, Joyride of yours? Uh, she walks up to the side of the crate, kind of swings. She's got, like, a rifle. She swings that around on the back of her shoulder and takes a look. Nods at Wyatt. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> never speak to me and my son again. Um, she <laughs> looks at the crate and kind of looks at Kaz and Franz and says, Yeah, actually, something like this at least. Hmm. Wyatt, who's Emmett? Who is Emmett? Emmett is your dad. That's good to know. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just control. I was like, wait, I'm. Sh is that my, that's my dad's name, and then I control F. I was like panicking. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, that's uh, that's my dad. That's my dad's name. That's his um. That's his address, as far as I know. So uh, your family have anything to do with this whole? Valard thing? No. We're poor. We catch fish. We send it. Places. I think you catch more than fish, man. Yeah, what's in catch the box? I was seat. not paying attention for any of that because I didn't want to ruin my notes. <laughs> I will let Wyatt explain. Okay. There's a, um, in the back, there is a uh, tattered shirt that um, looks humanoid sized. Um, and as though it has been torn up by, by some kind of animal, um, beneath it is uh, clumps of moss, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, uh, and there was something else below the moss? Or... Yes, uh, desiccated flesh. Oh, that was it. Yeah, that's pro. Uh, and, uh, yes, desiccated <laughs> flesh. Cool. Tasty. Mm. Does the moss look like uh, none of these are moss? None of these are moss. Never mind. You can make a um a nature check, or you can make a survival, or you could make a medicine or investigation. They'll all have different answers. My boy. Is dumb. My so boy this will be interesting. <laughs> He's dumb. You said nature, medicine, anything what else? you want to debate. Survival, I'll take investigation, I'll take I'll do survival. That makes sense. Look it's it looks a little like it feels weird. It just looks bad juju. Not good. Not good times. Not great. It doesn't. You don't. You don't like the vibe of this moss. Moss is usually really great. We love moss, but not this moss. Mm. This moss is bad, Juju. Okay. Uh, I can't tell what that is. It's not in the uh, basic Bitopian horticulture book <laughs> that I got. But uh, is it at all like the moss or like the growths that um we saw? In those articles on the infected, I can't remember exactly what each stage was called, but yeah, I mean, you take a bit of a gander. Um, if you wanted to roll as well, you could roll up any of the aforementioned stats. Uh, nature. 
nature or survival perhaps yeah yeah you take a look at it you take an examine take an examine you look at it it has this strange like are you sure you're like poking with a stick or something maybe maybe not I don't when you, think I will poke it. <laughs> when you like move your flashlight in kind of like this arcing motion, you notice that it has this weird like texture, the moss does, almost like oil on water. Like it's this weird kind of Ooh. subtle luminescence to it um, that you recognize from some of the images that you were shown of infected material and infected like bodies. Mm hmm. Yeah, we don't want to get anywhere near that. Alright. It's, uh, in infected material. Let's call it that biohazard. Well, Alright then. Is it, uh, uh, just you three? Uh, there's one more that refuses to fucking wake up, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Arlo's here. <laughs> He's gonna. What, what's your guys' sleep situation? Um, not good. Uh, come. We got camp. Sick. Let's watch. Uh, hey, hang on. Wyatt, did you go in there? No. <laughs> Hang on. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this is... D D Denny, it's genuinely... It's a Ratso... It's a Ratso... Uh, Ratso X Machina. Ratso is secretly carrying it. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I clocked that two minutes ago. I, I foresaw the execution of Ratso. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Ratso uh, Hawk of the Second. <laughs> oh no, because uh, that stuff like lingers in the air and I tend to damage Maybe... you too. Yeah, I know you did. I'm just making sure you know that. Right, we'll just have to keep an eye on you, I suppose. Get a load of this guy. No, I mean, I'm body right. speaks He's up from the front, like... and she says, "Is your camp this way?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh, keep going into that there cave. All right. Watch, Watch out, out for the, the little trap. A, yeah, there's a <laughs> rope back in there. <laughs> Castle kind of run on ahead. Point the oh, rope bless out. up. They step over it, thank god. Yeah. They would have eaten it so bad. Mm -hmm. Fucking... Vody does like a, a conga dip underneath it. It's fucking <laughs> awesome. Snaps her shins in half and just like... <laughs> like a bug crawls. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think we get back believe. and... Mishka's just asleep on Arlo. Oh, oh no. Mishka, Mushka. I can't believe Wyatt is the guy who gets bitten and doesn't tell anyone. <laughs> right? <laughs> not like Can this. Can you not? <laughs> I believe uh... it. I didn't know he was going to lie about it, but I, I quickly realized that he was so good. <laughs> so, that's fun. I like being that character. Oh my god. I, uh... Just a quick little thing here. Uh... Kira, I know the answer for you, but do y'all's families have have ever had anything to do with uh, this whole Ballard thing? Uh, Vody and Emma make eye contact, and both of them shake their heads. I mean, no one in my family has been chosen before. No, not even chosen. Just uh, they have anything to do with like the science behind it. They ever work on it? donate for it, any of that? My family were farmers. But I don't think 
they have anything to do with science or nothing? Well, that's what I thought until a couple days ago, so. Hmm. Uh, you weren't aware of your family's influence in this region? Nope. Right, okay. I mean, my, I'm sure you maybe, uh, I don't know, recognize my name, Quayley, uh, Elowen Quayley had, that was my mother, she did a lot of research, I didn't know the extent to which she had done research in this area, um, I think, I think our parents were quite good friends. Uh, I didn't know my parents had it in them to have friends, but, uh, apparently they do, and it's why it's dead. We, uh, hey, how many didn't fish distributors were, uh, in Northern Dauphin? What'd you say? We are the leading fish distributors in Northern Dauphin. Yeah. If you bought fish, it was rose fish. <laughs> so y'all are uh, distributing, right? All right, everything. That, that makes a little more sense. Hey, how many of these boxes were there on your uh, excursion there, Carrie? I mean, I didn't really stop to look at that many, but I saw like maybe three or four. All right. All right. So that makes four or five that we've seen total. Plus all this. Uh, when we get back, we all need to kind of have a chat, provided we uh, are allowed back. They might have heard me going on about this before, so. Yeah, your tin hat is really coming out at this point. Yeah. Don't mock it, man. <laughs> He's right. <Okay. laughs> All right, fish fingers. I'm going to bed, though. It's true. <laughs> she, she's in on it, man. I'm telling you. Why? Okay. Why? It's it's all right. Why? Thank you. <laughs> my no, it's like cuddles up. <laughs> Sagely nods. <laughs> my question is, um, <laughs> are we doing a last watch? Yeah, he's gonna poke Arlo, and if he doesn't move, he's gonna boot him in the calf. Oh my god! I thought you were gonna say ribs. Um, I was gonna say, I think at this time, like a few hours have passed. Like he's probably you feeling good. good. Like sleep, he's probably man. woken up. Yeah, he's probably woken up early before, but he just had to get that full, you know, sleep, mm. like uninterrupted sleep. So yeah, he probably wakes up from the poke. Oh, okay, hell yeah, well, it's about <laughs> time you wake up. <laughs> oh, <Skyrim>. good morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's over. You're finally away. You're finally awake. <laughs> I'm going to start a campaign like that. Um, oh, that's amazing. Call? Oh, I, is it morning didn't, didn't, already? No, yeah. you didn't hear no gunshots. Didn't, you know, wake up when I, you know what, it don't matter. You're up now. Uh, it's your watch. And he goes over and doesn't even wait for an answer. Leans on the wall, puts his hat over his eyes, covers himself up. <laughs> was your uh, creature thing still sleep sleeping on Arlo? Absolutely. Oh yeah, never mind. He's startled. He's like, "Oh my god, what is?" This? Yeah, he probably moved. Yeah, he probably stands it's up. It's all right. Yeah. It just probably found somewhere warm. It's like a fucking cat, man. That thing is cursed. I'm sorry. Okay, Kira, it's not it's cursed. Throw a I pillow at your head. <laughs> I feel... Keep it down. Cass, I think I'm hallucinating. How the hell? Who is they she? Found us. Just, just watch the rope. Make sure nothing comes and gets us. Go, oh, man. Oh. We'll do comedy bits later. <laughs> I'm so I'm trying to sleep. Can you please <laughs> shut up, for the love of God. That for God's sake, Lord, someone is trying to sleep. Shut up, man. <laughs> Did no one get good night's sleep? I don't understand. Oh okay. my fucking god. <laughs> I feel so... I'll just move off. 
Uh, all there's that one kid at a sleepover who's like, he can't sleep, and everyone's like, please. Please, stop. <laughs> um, hi, Oliver. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he's there. Um, I guess he sees Emma, so he's like, oh, okay. How are you, Arlo? Also, could I grab a perception check from you? Um, Arlo, for the most part, well, when he wakes up, he's just, he says to himself, he walks over to the side and he just says to himself, today is going to be a good day. Oh, angel. <laughs> and, and, um, he'll check to see if, um, actually, I'll give you a perception. Hold on for anything um, but he'd probably go on a radio and start trying to radio Yalthin I think that's his name Yalthin you pop up on the radio um, as you're looking around uh, and you hear hello he'll move away uh, Yalthin uh, no what? it's still Pisces are you doing alright Pisces Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Is... Wait, maybe you could... Maybe you could, um, let me know. Is Yelthen okay? Because we see Emma now. But... Yeah. I can see y'all have grouped up together. It's really good. Um, I saw... Oh, I, I heard gunshots through there. Is everybody still okay? I mean, yes. I, I, yeah. <laughs> She's guys. like counting. See if we oh. lost anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, cool, great. Uh, I, I can't, I can't get in contact with Yalthin. But he's okay, though. Like he's a lot. He's yeah. I'm seeing that his his vitals are okay. Okay, all right, that's good. Um, so when when is when are people going to come and like rescue the ones who are injured and th and stuff? <laughs> Ain't nobody coming for the injured, buddy. But like you put them there, this is like a training thing, and mm -hmm. what you just let them that like is someone injured. Hurt? I, 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 I think people are probably injured. Uh, else Name or... one person that's injured. Or why <laughs> Name was injured. injured. Why it was fan. injured. Um, why it's showing up bad. Um, Pen? Uh, yeah, I mean, Pen was a tragedy, and the handler in charge of that is facing repercussions as we speak. Wait, who's the handler for that one? Uh, I'm sure you were in contact with them. I have been in contact with just you, and that's it? You are the only handler I've spoken to? Hmm. Maybe you should ask your friends about it. Um, if there's no kind of emergency here, and you don't need nothing, I'm gonna try and get some beauty rest. You know, I'm very... I'm very happy that you can get beauty rest. I I really appreciate. I also really appreciate that there are handlers who are very mysterious and don't tell me anything. So thank you very much, Pisces. You're very welcome, buddy. Don't say it. He hangs up. Hangs up. Telephone. He just he just does whatever. Like he. Um. Nice. Uh, with a sixteen, you kind of see out of the corner of your eye. Um, 